Hell, have no fury like a woman scorned. Don't you trust these modern women today? Because nothing is sacred. Nothing is confidential. And anything that you discussed in private will be used against you once their irrational emotions become involved. Two stories that recently popped up in my feed and piqued my interest while I was on vacation, Kiki Palmer and Jonah Hill. And the interesting thing is, is that these stories, while different, they have a similarity in it that they are two men in both stories that were trying to set boundaries and then the modern woman tried to pop a squat on said boundaries, but the boundaries were being set by men, one of which was in a position of power and the other that was not. So we're gonna deep dive, pardon my tardiness one more time and let's get active. So first we're gonna kick this off with the Jonah Hill story. So you can see right here a picture of Jonah Hill with the young Accusatory terrorist in question, both of which are adorning the exact same outfit at some Hollywood premiere, which should give you an indication of the mindset of a Jonah Hill. Someone send Jonah Hill a copy of my video so the young brother can learn how to man up. Anyway, let's keep going down. Here's the timeline of events, all right? Hill and Brady began seeing each other. Brady is the young terrorist in question. I believe she's a surfer. As screenshots from Brady seemed to show, he slid into her DMs and liked her pictures of her surfing in a bathing suit. In 2022, Hill and Brady break up. And around six months later, Hill begins dating Olivia Miller. Okay. In May of 2023, Jonah Hill and Millard, the new chick, welcome their first child. Two months later, July 2023, Brady takes to Instagram stories to share a number of texts and allegations. One of the red flag messages is a request allegedly by Jonah Hill framed as a boundary that Brady take down certain photos and videos from her Instagram that she had limited contact with her friends. She states plainly that she believes that he is misogynistic. It's just crazy to think that we got all of this content all over the internet about what men want to see out of a significant other. And as soon as you set a boundary of the things that you might want to see, you are labeled misogynistic. Oh, I hate women now because I don't want to see you and your bathing suit being spread across the interwebs. That makes me hate women. What type of goddamn irrational jump from one to the other? But mind you, this is July of 2023. This chick thought it would be a great idea to post texts from him from two years ago when they used to date. So the young man has moved on, chose someone else, and you get in your feelings trying to destroy his character with private conversation. What private conversation, you might ask? Plain and simple. If you need surfing with men, boundaryless, inappropriate friendships with men, to model, to post pictures of yourself in a bathing suit, to post S pictures, friendships with women who are in unstable places, Good job, Jonah. I say the same damn thing. If you come across a young lady and her friends are all jacked up, she's probably jacked up too. She's just being a chameleon right now. Leave your past behind, mama. And if I find out what your past was, to the cleaners with you. Anyway, and from getting your wild recent past beyond getting a lunch or coffee or something respectful. I am not the right partner for you. If these bring you to a place of happiness, I support it and there'll be no hard feelings. These are my boundaries for romantic partnership. Okay, makes sense to me. You know what you're signing up for. He's a multi-millionaire, famous Hollywood actor. He slid into your DMs to grab you up from the gutter, your surfing gutter that you resided from. And he's setting boundaries to deal with him. Image is important to him. Who he dates will be public. It will be in the paparazzi. So he doesn't want to mix your past life and your past BS with his popularity, with his fame. Makes sense to me. But of course, you get the Twitter feminist saying, oh, this is from Sarah Brady, Jonah Hill's ex. This is so manipulative, abusive, bullshit. She is a surfer and shouldn't post pictures of herself in bathing suit. W, 
TF. What a tiny, tiny little man. Let me emasculate the man that is setting boundaries in a relationship so I can do whatever the hell that I want. But that's not all that she chose to share. See, apparently the scorn woman part came specifically because Jonah let her know in August of 2022 that he was dating someone else. As you can see in this text message, I don't need to, but in the spirit of pure respect to our friendship and appreciation for each other, I did want to be transparent that I did start dating someone recently. I'm sorry if that is painful. It just happened. And I didn't want to not be transparent with you ever as I care about you. She replies, thanks for letting me know. Probably best if we don't talk for a while and figure out where that is headed. Now, probably after a night of crying herself to sleep, using her tears as lubrication on her self-pleasure tool of choice, thinking through the bag that she just lost out on, right? She follows up with this gem. Not that it's really my business, but out of my own personal chicks before D's code, if that's headed anywhere other than a hookup or a fling, I appreciate it that you make the woman aware of how recently you've been flirting with me, sexting with me, and leaning on me for partner level emotional support. He replies, I'm sorry, hot. And she goes on to continue to post the conversation. I'm not going to read all of these words, but in this text message right here, he's denying talking to her inappropriately. She provides more receipts. He says, that's a new side of you, Sarah. And then he follows up and he says something. I have nothing to hide in my life, but I'm still entitled to safety and privacy, just like you or anyone else. At this point, he doesn't think that she's going to post all of the text receipts. I thought you'd understand and honor that. This has really shattered my sense of faith in that you were a human I could trust. I thought we would always be friends, Sarah. I've done nothing wrong, and I'm sorry if you've bummed, but this line of texting today has really deeply let me down and broken my trust as a friend. So he eventually admits that two months prior to this, there was some sexting conversations. But think of it like this. Two months prior, the lines of the relationship between Jonah Hill and his now baby mother were more than likely blurred. He was still dipping his toe back into the water to a degree, but he's being forthright in August and saying that I'm currently dating someone else and this chick wants to use it all against him. Again, hell hath no fury like a modern woman scorned. Women will try to destroy you with gossip innuendo and reputation destruction. You could tell that Jonah Hill from this text is clearly an emotional kind of a guy who cares for these women and their feelings. But instead, he gets accused of being a misogynist and abusive, emotionally abusive in the relationship. And this chick admits to waiting nine months to post the text message threads so that his baby mother can have the baby without stress. So this is premeditated. For nine months you had to think about this and consider how ridiculous that you are to try to out him like this. But let's compare this to the Kiki Palmer situation. Usher lives a fantastic life. Just serenaded niggas bitches. Unabashed. So the baby father of Kiki Palmer, Darius Dalton, called her out publicly. It's the outfit though. You a mom. He then follows up. We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater that he is. This is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what 
I believe. So of course this was dragged through the Twitter streets. A lot of people were hating on him. Most of the dudes was like, yeah, people were saying, but they, that's not really your wife. So the perception is that you guys are still single. But even as a man in a relationship, apparently you set a standard and a boundary. Then they all just poop on it. Miss Feminist Palmer then goes on to share even more photos of her outfit at the Usher concert, despite the boundaries that her boyfriend publicly set. As Kiki Palmer was heralded as the new leader of the women's sexual liberation movement, more clips started to come out with her regarding her past. You know, being attracted to women, but also always feeling like the respect that I was expecting in relationships with males, it was just like, I felt like the guys was always thinking that they had held all the damn cards. Where it was like, okay, if you want to date other people, then I'm going to date other people. Like, But now that you know I'm not totally tied down to you, now you want to play games with me? Well, understand, honey, I don't have to deal with you. I can go over here with her. I got millions of buckets to choose from, sweetheart. So you ain't stopping what's going on with me. So if you're going to act up. I'm about to link up with her. We out. We're done. And so that was the vibe I was in of just like not being bound uh, in any aspect of my life. I'm not bound in my sexuality. I'm not going to let nobody control me. I'm not going to let nobody stop me, tell me who I got to be with, what I got to do. And I'm not going to let anybody tell me what I got to do with my career. I don't belong to none of you. A year ago, I probably would have named this video something like Kiki Palmer is a thought feminist. <laughs> I'm in my growth stage, though. You know what I'm saying? And so that was kind of like what I was going through all around. Like, I was, I was fed, your girl was fed up. From her head to her toes. It was all real, and you know. I'm so fed up. Got me feeling fed up. She don't know what to think. So she just switches goddamn teams. But one of the most hilarious components of the story is, is that the internet was saying that he should shut his mouth because he does not make as much money as Kiki Palmer. But come to find out, according to Yahoo Entertainment, that Darius Jackson's net worth is somewhere between 500 to 1 million. What does he do? He's a fitness instructor. So anyway, now they've rumored to have broken up. I don't know, I don't care. Anyway, here's the lessons. Darius called Kiki out publicly, whereas Jonah Hill expressed his boundaries privately. So what's interesting about that is that Darius is essentially doing what the surfer chick did, which was to call out publicly. And my honest opinion is that I just think that it's a disgusting thing for a man to do. I guess the surfer chick gets a pass to the womanhood code, but a guy doesn't get a pass for doing it this way. Men should praise publicly and chastise privately. I mean, take this for example, Sierra at the last Grammys when she was walking around in her thong outfit. Now let's say that Russell Wilson finally got up out of frame and said something publicly about the way that she was demonstrating herself. Well, I think that the backlash on Russell Wilson would have been far more than what he currently receives for the way that he allows her to dress. And shit, to be honest, we can respect Russell Wilson more because throughout this whole shit with Sierra, he's never flip-flopped. <laughs> like, he's never done anything publicly. He's never gone to the other side. He's never tried to disparage it. He's hold frame and been stoic the entire time. At the end of the day, you may not agree with the man, but he's held true to what the way that he thinks. Darius, on the other hand, tried to use social media to get a force to drive behind him to create a new reality based off of the situation that he was in. But hear me out. I think both men took L in both of these scenarios because the woman that they selected, they should have already knew what type of timing that they were on. Jonah Hill recognized things in her past that he wanted to change about the surfer chick. The guy probably researched videos on Kiki Palmer before talking about her ultra feminist, sexually liberated mindset in ways. This was all par for the course, my G. You knew that she was probably going to do this, but you decided to put a baby in her. If you choose to be with women like that, you cannot be upset when they don't want to change their goddamn ways. You see, for men in society today, we're not taken seriously when we create restrictions or requirements 
for ourselves. This is how you could get women that want a guy that's six foot tall, makes six figures a year, six pack abs. Meanwhile, you don't want a girl that's overweight and you get called out for fat shaming. The tricky part is having to navigate what your requirements are while still being able to be true to them. Judge them relentlessly for their past, for the decisions that they made then is going to paint a picture of the decisions they'll make in the future. Questions, comments, concerns? Y'all already know what to do. Me and tutorials and reviews at gmail.com. Pardon me again for being a little bit late on these videos, but your boy was out there living life. Y'all see this tan? Damn, son. This tan is crazy. Your boy detoxing over here. You understand what I'm saying? I need it after everything I've been going through. Anyway, guys, if you agree with the things that I'm saying in this video or you disagree, let me know down in the comment box down below. Let's have a fruitful discussion regarding it. What do y'all think? Let me know. All right? Until next time, you two.